So, a new year in 2014 sees some people wake up with an hangover <coughs> after quite a many nights. But for the Premier League players, the year started with an early test, but some of them were found to be lacking in a bad start of the year. Man City went top of the league and nearly kick off after a 3 2 win away to Swansea. Fernandinho gave him the lead after 14 minutes, but they went in level at the break when Wilfred Bunny equalised. Torre gave City a second lead. Just before the hour mark and eight minutes later, Kolarov looked to seal the win for him. But Swansea had other ideas as Boney scored his second of the game, but wasn't enough and City held on for a win. Arsenal, however, regained top spot of City with a late show at home to Cardiff. Cardiff had named Oli Gunnar Solskjaer manager after the game, and this was after a 2 0 defeat in which Bentner came off the bench to give Arsenal a lead in the 18th minute, with Walcott C on the win in the final minute. Crystal Powers came from behind to claim a draw home to Norwich, who led to a Johnson strike after 39 minutes. The lead only lasted for 5 minutes as Punch and equalised from the spot to send them in level halfway. Norwich did end the game with 10 men after Leroy Fair was sent off in the second half. Fulham made a bad start to the year for West Ham, who had led after 7 minutes through the army, but Sidwell levelled just after the half hour and the Hammers were dealt a really bad blow just before the break when Captain Kevin Nolan was sent off for a really bad off the ball incident. The Hammers hopes did get a little worse after Fulham took advantage of the extra man with Berbatov giving them a lead in the 66th minute and they held on for a win. Liverpool bounced back from two defeats over Christmas to start 2014 in a good way. This came after a 2-0 victory at home to Hull gaining some revenge of the 3-1 defeat they suffered last year in their first meeting. First goal of the season for Daniel Lager, who is the current standing captain, and was after 36 minutes, and that set them off, with Luis Suarez hitting a brilliant free kick in the 50th minute, which gave Liverpool a brilliant start to the year, and ended the scoring drought of two games. Chelsea, on the other hand, completed a double over Southampton, with a 3-0 win that saw them get rid of the bad statistic they had for last year of no striker scoring away. This came after Torres gave them the lead just on the hour mark. <coughs> Will Aaron and Oscar added a second and a third to complete the win. Everton left it late to claim a point against a very tough Stoke side <coughs> who had led after Asaidi, ironically on loan from Liverpool, hit his third goal in I think it's three games. To put Stoke ahead in the 49th minute, but Baines struck a penalty in the last minute to deny Stoke that first win and first three points of the year. Aston Villa got themselves back on the winning run with a 1-0 win at Sunderland. This came thanks to a goal from Mark Bonlahor, who gave them a first win in six games, of which included a draw at Sunderland. While West Brom had the informed Saidu Berahino to thank for giving them a 1 0 win over Newcastle, who had Matthew Debussy sent off in the second half for a really bad tackle, which it, it hasn't helped them. The late kickoff saw Tottenham travel to face Manchester United, the two drew 2 all in the reverse fixture, and Tottenham took a surprise lead when Adebayo gave him the lead after 34 minutes. This was added to by Eriksson's goal in the 66th minute as Tottenham looked on for a win. However, Danny Welbeck hit an instant strike which put Tottenham 2-1 ahead as they held on for a good opening to 2014 and complete a really good day in the Premier League. The next post will be on Sunday or Monday which will be the FA Cup roundup which will be a big post because there's a lot of games to come. So, first post of 2014, look forward to the next one.